What's up OGs, Hongmin here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about why BJJ is so much more popular than Judo. So before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So let's dive in. So now this is a conversation that I've had many times with my, with my coach and and this is something that actually happened to me um, yesterday because I was actually looking for a, how do you say, it? A, a wrestling club that was maybe a little bit closer uh, to, to where I lived than to the, ones that, to the one I went to. And now before I get into that, okay, so here's the thing, right? I think that BJJ, because for those of you guys who don't know, I practiced BJJ for like six, seven years. Uh, I was a blue belt. I think I... I should have gotten my purple, but because I changed clubs and every club is very, um, the ones I went to anyway, were subjective. You know, like the coach, it was really up to the coach to give you or not. And, you know, it's, 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 I, I personally find it's not as uh, structured as uh, judo, right? Because it's really, a lot of times it's like, yeah, you have to be good, but at the same time, the coach has to like you to give you the belts, which is kind of, uh, different from judo because in the judo world once you get your brown belt right then after that it's you have to go get 120 points in competition plus you have to do a uh, kata exam like the nagi no kata which is the, the the kata of throwing people so you gotta do that in front of a bunch of judges you know and the judges are, are all guys from like you know the uh, uh, they're there representing the judo federation so of course they judge you boom you pass that and if you have your 120 points you pay a certain fee for you know like the administration work and all that and you get your black belt and you're recognized you get a passport blah 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 and anywhere you go in the world like your 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 recognized black belt right under the uh, ijf the international judo federation Whereas in judo, uh, sorry, in BJJ, it's a little bit different. So now, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I kind of deviate, deviated a little bit there. But what I'm essentially saying is that BJJ found, found the niche, right? And I think it's, it's very good because, and, and the niche is really for adults, older, not, not necessarily older, but like, because in the world of judo and wrestling, let's say, right, once you hit like like um, like 20 years old, there's like they don't really care about you anymore, because because these sports are Olympic sports, they only care about like the kids, right? So if they're able to detect like find that 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 kid that has that potential at a young age. They'll, they'll, they'll grab him up, train him, and then boom, he's off to, you know, uh, the national, he's off to the nationals, and then, you know, he gets on the national team, international, and so on, and then he's taken care of by the, um, um, by the federation, they take him in, and they have that train, the national training center for judo or wrestling, and then boom, it's international competition, and then it's trying to go for the Olympics. So, that's where their mind is at. So, after the age of like 20, you know, like if you're an adult, like over the age of 20, and you go to a judo club, like most likely, or even wrestling club, I think wrestling is worse from my experience, right? But I'm in Canada here, so it's not as big, like in Montreal, Quebec, especially. Um, but even for judo, it's kind of like there's no, there's no space, there's no place, I mean, for these adults. That, like, there's not. It's like they, you know, they're kind of neglected, you know? And of course, after a certain age, like, you know, like you didn't judo your whole life, you get to, let's say 20 and you know, you're good, but you're, uh, you're not that good. Or maybe you're just like, ah, you know, like I'm not going to make the Olympics or make the national team. But now what do you do? You know, there's, and that's where BJJ shines. So BJJ is so much more popular because they don't have this federation behind them. Like they, 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 they found this niche, right? and they're able to capitalize it on it. So, so what it is, it's, it started off like in Brazil, of course, you know, BJJ, and it was more for self-defense, like street fighting, MMA, stuff like that. And after that, 
like they they were able to um, to go look for all these guys like who are like you know uh, twenty and over, but who wanted and who wanted to really learn how to fight and practice an art that's that's very effective. Also, you you it was it was uh, relatively easy to learn in the sense that you could progress really quickly. You do a couple of months of BJJ and, and you're able to handle yourself against bigger and stronger opponents who don't have any grappling experience. So that was pretty cool. And, and that allowed for these, uh, a lot of guys, right? A lot of older guys to be, to, um, to get that out of their system, you know? Because as men, we all, we all have this need, we need this outlet to, to you know, to fight. You know, because it's, it's, it's just in us. Like, we need to get that out, you know? And, and with um, everyday life and, and, and stress and stuff like that. So BJJ was an outlet for that. And it was great. So, and of course, since BJJ doesn't have uh, a federation, you know, not like judo anyway. I know there's the IJ, what is it? IJ, uh, IBJJF, International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation. Yeah, them, but I mean... Then there's Abu Dhabi and so it's it's you know it's not really it's like a federation but it's not a federation for you know guys there's like different federations in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so it's not like one that unifies everything and, and this is you know uh, this is the way it's done and I know it, it's more like they're there but it's just organized competitions and and just take everybody's money I feel you know it's pretty goddamn expensive if uh, for all, those of you guys who train BJJ right um what's well, expensive for me but maybe it's because at this point i don't i don't make enough money all right like there, you could make the argument that uh, you know it's not that it's expensive it's just that i can't afford it but anyways so i digress so what was i saying again right bjj so oh yeah so so bjj i mean everybody's just promoting and and, and like the promotion and the marketing behind uh, this whole thing that's that's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is is so powerful and and they just go at it like you know it's all about it's it's money money let's go let's go let's let's sell this shit let's spread this let's spread this and it's very good uh, martial art very good product right something that's very uh, like man like once you if if you guys never tried for those of you guys who have never tried it like once you try it man chances are you're gonna get fucking hooked right. You're gonna love this shit, and you're just gonna like, oh shit, this is my life, blah, blah, blah. and that's the way I was too. And so, that's one of the reasons why BJJ is so more, so much more popular. One, the massive amount of marketing they do behind it. Two, they found like you know, like a niche, like the older guys who, who who need to fight, <laughs> really, and and it's it's amazing because you could you could do BJJ and. You know, next day you could still go to work. Like, whereas if you do something like boxing, it's, uh, ee, man, you get punched in the head too much. It's not a good thing, man. You know, you don't want to go to work busted up and shit. And, and at one point, like concussion, brain damage, like, you know, people worry about that, man. So now the thing with, and, and, and the reason why judo is like less popular is because, well, it's like they don't have a... Like I said, once you hit 20, it's like they don't give a fuck about you, man. It's, it's you know, it, it's kind of like that. And, and also, because it's like a, a Japanese thing, so behind it is all this tradition, uh, humility. You're not supposed to, like, brag and then talk shit. And, you know, like, you have to be, it's very, like, humble, humble and respectful, like, all the way through. So these guys aren't, like, you know... They're not they're not celebrated these these athletes you know so to speak and also because the um, the governing um, federation from Japan the Kodokan right like those are the guys who makes the rules for the whole judo federation and stuff like that I mean it's, it's their sport like they're Japanese so they're not really into like promoting it the way that uh, uh, they don't promote as much and they don't have that in their culture to to do as much. For judo anyway, okay, not not for anything else in, in, in Japanese culture, but just for judo, I find that they don't they don't pr promote their athletes enough. They don't talk about it enough. Not not they do, but like it's nothing compared to BJJ. So BJJ shines in that res in that respect in that regards. So they 
they really promote the living shit out of it, you know? And uh, it's crazy, man. And, and of course, they found, they, they, they made a space for these guys, man. For these guys who, um, you know, for, for my, myself included. Now, I don't train BJJ anymore. Uh, like, I'm more into judo, which is, is kind of fucked up. Because usually, it's the other way around. It's guys who go judo, you know, and then they do that for a while. And after that, they're like, ah, fuck this shit. There's, there's nothing left for me here. And then they go to, to, to BJJ and they... They find a family there and a home, so to speak, right? I kind of did the reverse, but you know, I'm probably more of a anomaly than than a than the norm. Okay, so that's the reason why, in my opinion, uh, BJJ is so goddamn popular uh, compared to judo. And of course, there's one last thing uh, that makes BJJ uh, so uh, much more how do you say it, popular than judo is because, well, it's an MMA too. And, you know, MMA, like, the bigger it gets, you know, of course, because of that, everybody knows, right? Like, BJJ, MMA, it's, it's, it goes together. If you don't have BJJ, well, actually, there's a lot of things that if you don't have now in MMA, then you're kind of, you're gonna, you're gonna lose to the guy who, the opponent who is going to, uh, have that extra tool that you don't, know, right? So you gotta know everything. But I mean, uh, since BJJ was a big part of MMA and that's why the UFC was launched in the first place was because uh, the Gracies wanted just a platform to show that they could kick the shit out of everybody and which, actually not kick, choke the shit out of everybody. And they did, they did, they proved it. And for a long while, like, like grapplers were dominating, right? And then only until the, the strikers started learning grappling that they were able to defend the takedowns and the submissions and get their ass back up, sprawl and brawl. And, and you know, that's when the grapplers came back. And, and yeah, so those are, those are the reasons why BJJ is more, much more popular than judo. And of course they're both, they come from the same like BJJ actually comes from judo and judo actually comes from uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu. So they all come from like the same, uh, you know, they're all very connected, but at the same time, they're very different too. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. Uh, of course, comments down below, guys. Agree, disagree, something to add, something to take off, elaborate, why not? You know and thank you very much for watching this video of course sharing is caring so if you guys like this video uh, share it and of course uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't so thank you very much guys I'll see you guys in the next one peace